All right, what is going on guys? Cordmaster here, and in today's video we are reviewing the Roland Phantom 8 keyboard synthesizer workstation. And I've been wanting to try this new format out for a while um, in the sense of doing some of these live streams uh, in a very similar way th that I would actually record and then edit and then publish a, a regular video on my channel. I've just been thinking just about being able to get more content out to you guys. Um, and I really enjoy doing things live and um, I'm gonna kind of tweak it, you know, here and there and stuff. But right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in and start talking about the, the Roland Phantom 8 and I'm excited to do so. So what you guys are looking at here is indeed the Phantom 8 keyboard workstation. I previously owned the uh, Phantom 6 and uh, I'm gonna actually turn the light up a little bit. Give me one second. Seems a little, a little dark in here for my taste. One sec. Okay, I like that a little better. All right, so yeah, I previously owned the Roland Phantom 6. Um, same exact keyboard except, you know, less keys and a different uh, key bed. And there was a lot that happened from that moment. I think 2018 is when that came out, and, and that's when I purchased it. Uh, but from that moment all the way up to today, um, a lot of has happened um, with my channel and, and uh, the efforts and things that I've been working on, connections that I made with Roland, um, where I was able to get my hands on this Phantom 8. And the reason I really wanted the 8 instead of the 6 um, that I didn't know up front but definitely realized over the years is because I'm a piano player. And whenever I was sitting at the Roland Phantom 6, I would, you know, often want to be able to just dive right into um, classical pieces or anything that I'm used to playing on my other uh, 88 key weighted digital piano, which is the Yamaha P515. And so, um, so I knew that I, I wanted to eventually get one and switch from the six, which I sold uh, to the eight. And I just wanted to, in this video, talk a little bit about why I love this workstation so much um, and sort of like just a high level overview uh, of it. So let's go ahead and do that. So for me, the the main thing that I like about this keyboard is the fact that it sounds great, um, it feels great, it sounds great, and you don't necessarily need to connect it to a computer in order to uh, make music, like start to finish, right? You can do pattern mode, uh, sequencer, and song mode all right on the on the keyboard itself and for me that's something that's extremely valuable because i don't necessarily enjoy being on a, on a computer um working on music i am probably the minority in that space but i just really prefer being musical and creative um all on the actual you know keyboard itself so you have uh, not a, not an endless but what feels like an endless amount of different sounds on here of course right now we're on the the piano sound but when you load this up the keyboard is broken up into different things called scenes and scenes are sort of roland's way of categorizing any snapshot of the keyboard right so a scene can be something as simple as a sound just one sound a scene can be something like and let me make sure my my levels are where I need them to be because um, this is actually running through uh, this thing here so it's gonna play and it's gonna probably be a little loud so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit as I hit the play button That's a song. That's a song that I made on this keyboard. Um, that's actually going to be on my album coming out soon. Kayla Joy album, album dedicated to my daughter, my seven-month-old daughter. Um, I'll leave a, a link below on a way for you guys to, you know, keep in touch with me on when that comes out if you're interested. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you got patterns. You have songs like that. You also have things like let's see, like more complex. Um, Let's see, I'm going to go here to this, like layers and things like that, right? So you have, turn this down a little, there we go. So 
yeah, you have sounds like that as well, um, and a whole lot of different sounds on here. That that's like really incredible. Then they also ha have an update that came out for this, which is called. Uh, let me bring this down so I can see the screen a little bit better. Maybe rotate this this way. Um, these things called model expansions, which is like a emulation of a uh, a previous uh, flagship. Um, Roland synthesizer right from back in the day and then like the the lights on the keyboard sort of change color and allow you to be able to make tweaks to that synth. so the four different ones on here are uh, let's see you have to go to model and then you have the uh, JP8 you have the which I'll just play one sound right so that's the first sound called Berlin night on the JP8 then you have the Ju 106 Right. Then you got the JX8P. And as I was saying, like the colors change to reflect. Like, I think that's really that's a cool, neat touch. Right. Like, these all turn green. These all turn green when I'm on the JX8P versus here. These are red. Those are red. So it just kind of gives it like a nice feel for like, if, you know, you're in a you're, you're like in a different mode and you're controlling one of these previous uh flagship synths from Roland. So I think it's super dope. And then the last one is the SH101. So yeah, you got those on here as well. Uh, what else we want to talk about with this? Um, drums. I mean, you have drums that are on here that are super dope. You have like the rhythm pattern section as well. What I've been doing that I really enjoy, I think I may have talked about this in one of my previous videos on the on the Roland Phantom, is uh, they have this thing called chain mode, which lets you sort of quickly jump from a scene to another scene so what i'm the way i'm going to kind of work through this is like i have this this um looper right here the the boss which is the same company as roland i didn't even realize that but yeah um and also i see someone is sending me a message in here let me go see who this is right quick send me a quick message you know uh dj m easy what's going on man how are you actually no wait you sent me a message on twitter sorry uh and i'm not on to it i'm sorry not twitter on twitch and I'm not on Twitch anymore. I was doing a little a little test earlier. Maybe I'll send him a message later to let him know that I saw that. But this is Life with Long Gears. I feel like I'm playing a Zelda game. Hey, dope. Well, look, I appreciate you being here. And um and yeah, I was I was rocking with some Zelda music just now. So I'm glad you enjoyed that and appreciated that as much as I did. Um, let's do another Zelda song just because you made a comment about that. Let me think. I was I was thinking about some Zelda music in my head the other day. Um uh, how about da, na, na. wait hang on almost let me try it again and let's actually let's actually go to let's go to zone view let's try to let's find a cool sound how about over here? There we go. Dope. Um, yeah, so you have a lot of cool sounds on here. Uh, love me some Zelda. Hey, right, I'm right, right there with you. I'm, I cannot wait for Breath of the Wild 2 to come out very soon. I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, so what was that? I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, about this chain mode. So chain mode allows you to be able to um, quickly get to different scenes. So what I've done, and as I mentioned, scenes can be like sounds. They can be layers. They can be splits. It's kind of just like the way the keyboard is set up in that exact moment. So for me, what was cool about that, like as I've started creating different songs on here, and I'm like, okay, I want a, a easy way for me to be able to go from like one of my songs to the next to the next to the next with like the press of a button rather than having to jump around on the screen here to find where I needed to be. And so for me, having scene mode do that is like, is really, really, really a powerful tool, right? Because now each of these buttons turn into um, a scene that I've placed there. So for example, I'm gonna hit play. 
this song builds up so let me actually go to this one instead because that takes a little while to build up but yeah this is the second one and if i hit play right so i'm not going to play too much of that but yeah you have these different songs right if i hit a different one over here I keep looking over there because like I'm still figuring out this whole like the levels like um, to make sure that it's not clipping or anything but that's why I keep looking in that in that area in case you were wondering um, so yeah these are all beats that I made if I wanted someone to be like yo like check you can check out any of these you know songs or if I'm performing or whatever I can just quickly get to these now additionally this is on like chain set one right called beats and then there's another chain set i have on here like this one for example called keys and these are just different scenes that are um that are interesting keyboard sounding scenes for lack of a better word right so this one here check this out um uh, i gotta bring that a little lower all right here we go So you have that, and then you can go to a different sound like this. And be like, I can't. I rather keep the mic up here and just just try again. You have these sounds that are just qu quickly available to you and I've created these scenes to be every single one of these are like keyboard based sounds right so like any one of these I can hit and and be able to play well when I say keyboard I mean they're they're not like pads or motion they're like um, yeah pluck ish type sounds I guess is what I'm trying to say <laughs> So that type of thing, which is really cool. Uh, what else we want to talk about with this? In addition, like in the pattern mode, um, w what's kind of interesting too is you have this TR record mode in pattern. So like if you wanted to say, um, let's say create a drum track, right? Instead of, wait, 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 let me go, let me single tone this out. If you, want, if you were here and you wanted to be like, well, first of all, I have this over here connected. I have like a drum pad connected. Um, which is kind of cool because this is going to USB into here and this automatically defaults to uh, zone 10, which means that it's going to play the drums even when I'm on zone one here, for example. Wait, 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 wait. I just changed from zone one to drums anyway. But yeah, here, this is that's still going to play drums, which is which is cool, right? You don't have to be on the same zone in order for. If this is making sense you don't have to be on zone 10 here in order for this to be active right which is kind of dope so um yeah but anyway for tr record if you were going here and you wanted to instead of recording drums you could go in tr record mode find a drum you can kind of place the steps in right and then hit play So anyway, yes, you can do that, which is kind of cool. Um, sound design type stuff. I don't spend too much time like in sound design. I'm, I'm more of the guy to find. I don't know why I keep saying that to 
more of the guy to um yes more of the guy to like find sounds that are here already and then maybe tweak them but not like from scratch right I, i'm I, that's not really my space like with the sound design thing um the last thing i want to show you guys is like the sort of movement based sounds on here which are when i say movement like they sound there there's yeah there's things happening let me see let's find something on here right That was weird, but whatever. So this is right. This is just like just like things that when you're talking about um, atmospheric music and stuff like that, you could, there's a lot of stuff in here uh, that that lets you kind of explore that as well. Like this one, paranormalism, it's called. So yeah, there's a lot more that this keyboard can do what i'm going to do is in the description below i'm going to link uh for those who are watching this after the fact i'm going to link a um uh a play a playlist yes that i have on my youtube channel uh, a roland phantom playlist that has like at least three or four videos uh past videos that i've made on the phantom six uh with tips and tricks and other like I was gonna say life hacks. That's not the right word. Just other things that I've discovered on the Phantom platform that um, that make it a lot more fun to use. Uh, and so a lot of people have really, I think, enjoyed those videos. So I'll link that uh, below here. And um, I'm gonna go upstairs and have some chicken pot pie right now. It's a little late to be eating, but that's okay. I'm kind of hungry, and I'm gonna go watch the latest episode of Abbott Elementary with my wife. Hope you guys enjoyed the live. I will see you guys on the next one. All right, take care.